Members of a Swedish think tank said most, but not all, of the world's nuclear powers are scaling down their arsenals. Analysts at the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute released their annual report Monday. They looked at the five nuclear-armed countries that belong to the International Non-Proliferation Treaty and three others, India, Pakistan, and Israel. They say the nations possess about 17,200 nuclear warheads. That's 10% fewer than last year. The U.S. and Russia have reduced their arsenal under the terms of a new treaty. They also retired aging warheads. Analysts say China has some 250 nuclear warheads. That's about 10 more than last year. They also say Pakistan and India appear to have expanded their stockpiles by about 10 each. The analysts say the leaders of the nuclear powers seem unwilling to give up their arsenals for good. The Japan-India nuclear power deal has been on the horizon for some time now. But the 2011 nuclear accident in Fukushima slowed the pace of discussions. As Abe and Sin move forward on this issue, experts say they'll have difficulty mapping out a strategy on another what to do about China. Professor Takako Hirose of Senshu University has insight. You know, India um, is an emerging power and uh, the energy demands are very high. So, and also the global warming is a big problem. So nuclear uh, power is certainly uh, one solution. So India wants to develop uh, or construct more nuclear plants. And Indian people uh, admire Japanese technology. Despite Fukushima, that sort of admiration hasn't gone down. So certainly for India to have, uh, construct more nuclear power, uh, plants, uh, uh, India needs Japanese cooperation. And from Japanese side, Abe administration wants to um, export uh, nuclear plants to various uh, countries. And India is a huge market, so it's not in terms of one or two plants, but uh, in tens and twenties and that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, the, the mutual um, uh, interests uh, converge there. Well, Indians understand Japanese sensitivity towards the nuclear thing. So, uh, but uh, at the same time, um, the nuclear matter it has been a kind of um, irritant for Indians. You know, they want to, to leave, uh, you know, jump, but uh, because of this, uh, it, they have to wait. They have been very patient. So with the conclusion of the nuclear uh, agreement, I think that the relationship between the two countries, not only in, in terms of nuclear cooperation, uh, will, will, you know, uh, develop very fast. Both Japan and India ha uh, perceive China as a kind of threat. That's true. And both countries have a territorial dispute of, of uh, that, uh, you know, uh, with, with China. But India doesn't want to be uh, used as a kind of um, pawn to, uh, for containment poli policy or encirclement of China. So India, India's uh, foreign policy tradition is, uh, is a non-alignment policy. And India doesn't want to be used uh, by other countries or uh, taken as a part of, uh, uh, you know, stra uh, sort of doesn't want to gang up with other countries. And China has been very sensitive to us, this you know, the, uh, ties between Japan and, and uh, India or India and the U.S. So we have to be more careful. And Japan also uh, has to, to consider better ways or more constructive ways to strengthen uh, strategic, strategic ties like uh, you know uh, sea lanes uh, security uh, maritime security or piracy and uh, and also the, the two countries have to to continue the dialogues so that the, you know uh, we can understand each other much better and so in a much more uh, wider uh, perspective, uh, the con uh, relationship should be strengthened. The head of the International Atomic Energy Agency has vented his frustration over nuclear talks with Iranian leaders. Yukia Amano says the negotiations are going around in circles. Amano said the Iranians are still installing centrifuges and enriching uranium. He said those activities contravene UN Security Council resolutions. Amano said there have been 10 rounds of talks since January 2012, but no progress. He said Iranian leaders must answer questions about a facility near Tehran. 
He said they should allow investigators access to the Parchin military complex. The investigators believe scientists have developed nuclear weapons there. Agency officials have been trying to win concessions from Iran's chief nuclear negotiator, Saeed Jalili. He's one of the candidates in Iran's presidential election later this month.